You know, I think when people uh, hear me say or others say that belonging before believing is a bad idea, they think that we're, we're unfriendly. Uh, we don't want people to feel welcome. And that's not what this is about at all. I, we want people to feel welcome in our churches. We want them to feel like uh, they, are, they are desired, that, that they are welcome to be there, to build relationships, uh, to, to, to hear and engage with what we're talking about. The problem with belonging before believing though, is belonging to a church actually means something. Belonging to a church means there's a group of people who are willing to stand up in front of the world and say, we think this person is a Christian. And so to belong before you believe, in many ways I would say is actually theologically impossible. You have to believe in order to belong. Uh, because a statement of belonging, a statement of membership, is a statement that this person is actually uh, a follower of Jesus Christ. But at another level, it's a, it's a problem because, uh, honestly, it, who doesn't want to belong, right? Everybody wants to belong. Every, everybody wants a community of people that they will feel warm, loved, accepted within. And we can give that to people without giving them Jesus. We can give people that sense of belonging without them ever actually knowing who Jesus is, why they need to follow him, why they need to repent of their sins and confess their faith in him. So when we allow people to belong before they believe, honestly, I think we begin to give them what they want in their flesh and probably undermine their desire or, or, or uh, we, we, we potentially undermine uh, the the, the need to deal with Jesus in order to belong.